Hey everybody, welcome back. Trailer reaction time. And today I've got a trailer I'm very excited for. That is why I'm doing it. Bunch of trailers came out, of course, while I was on vacation. And of course, I already had enough trailers. I didn't have to do them for a week when I got home, but just got back yesterday, still recovering. But I got to do these trailers, especially this one, because I am terribly excited for this. Today, we're here to watch trailer number two for Furiosa, a Mad Max saga. Don't know what this voice is supposed to be, but it feels correct. Yeah. Now, I don't want to stop doing the voice, but I will, because I'm sure uh, click out, click out, click out is happening right now. That's fine. I'm here because I just want to share my passion and joy. So, uh, yeah, you want to see this trailer without my passionate, joyful face in the way? There's a link in the description below or something's popping up right about now. You can click on that, check it out. Come on back, watch me watch this, and then I'm going to geek out of her together. Or, well, I'm going to geek out of her, so we can geek out of her together if you want, because it's going to be geek out worthy. Pardon me, I was sneezing before I rolled. I thought I was only going to do two trailers, but I just discovered this came out yesterday. And uh, I'm hyped for this, man. I loved Fury Road. I love Mad Max. Road Warrior is insanely a classic, like just one of the greatest films of all time. Uh, you know, I don't really remember Beyond Thunderdome too much, but I know Mary loves it. I need to rewatch it. Fury Road blew my damn mind. One of the greatest achievements of cinema in, I guess, the last decade uh, for me. Again, personal taste, personal thoughts. And the first Furiosa trailer looked incredible to me. It looks like more of that greatness. Sure, some people are complaining. Maybe the effects aren't as good. I don't care. Listen, I grew up a child of the 80s horror movies. Your effects don't got to be perfect. They just got to not take me out of it, which is fine because I have incredible suspension of disbelief. And uh, also, it was an early trailer. They'll probably look better in context of the film. Uh, <laughs> that said, I'm just really excited to see what we get some more stuff here. And then after that, we're going to talk about it. And I cannot wait. Day one for this, for sure. Uh, let's go. Let's watch. Furiosa! We've come too far. Yes, please put that right in my veins. Whoo, I'm having a reaction for sure. Um, oh my God. Uh, I think, uh, again, if you don't know, the, I have the music thing. Music really affects me. And I don't know if it was intentional, but like that use of that Nirvana riff. Um, I can't remember what song it is. I suck at song titles anyways, but what a beautiful working of music. So much cool stuff in there. And again, talking about how Road Warrior 
which is an insane upgrade from the great Mad Max. It looks like, I mean, I don't know that he's going to make that leap of quality between Mad Max and Furiosa, but I mean, it looks like he's going for that, or at least this is definitely sort of a, story-wise, a Road Warrior versus Mad Max, because is that, um, God, what was it called? Oil Town, Gas Town, whatever. Is that actually supposed to be what that is? And obviously they got the rigs, and it looks like even more of a chase movie than the first one, <sighs> with all those awesome battles happening. I'm sorry, I've got some tears, so i got to blow my nose. Tissues on standby. Um, I should make that a shirt. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, that looks so freaking good, man. The action looks so incredible. Immortan Joe, seeing the young Immortan Joe in there, we're going to find out how they kind of came to be. <clears throat> and a little bit more of the story. And even the mom looks incredible in this. Like, she's her own rightful badass. And, man, do you see that, like, brass knuckle six-shooter pistol with, like, a big flip-out hunting blade? Like, that is awesome. That is the insanity of a George Miller. And we need to thank our lucky stars. That guy is still here and still being able to do it. And he, people are giving him the chance because, wow. You know, because, again, we talk about all kinds of movie stuff here. And, sure, like... You know, the business of film. Some people out there, some of y'all seem to think that that's all everything is anymore. It's like, no, there is still much art. There's even an art to the blend of the business and the art of filmmaking. Sure, that's not achieved as well as it used to be, but this, you can't call this not art. It may not be the art you like, but this is art. <laughs> he, had a, he had a story he wanted to tell, a passion to tell it, and a vision to tell it with, and he's been given what he needs to do it, as far as I can tell. And, and last time that happened, it was absolute cinema magic, so... I'm on board for some more. Bring it to me now. Um, all right, so maybe you disagree. I know some people are hating on it. It's like, oh, it's really awesome. it's really awesome. I don't care. You can tell me if you want, or if you just aren't liking it, you're not feeling it, that's fine. I'm not going to be mad about that. That's absolutely valid and fair. And even if you're, well, if, even if you hate it, I guess that's kind of fair, but I don't understand why you'd spend so much of your life, your very precious amount of life with hatred. Like, get over it. Move on. Spend that energy on things you do like and imagine how happy you can be. <laughs> that was the trick for me. I learned like 20 something years ago and I stopped being a miserable little piece of, uh, you know, poop <laughs> a lot of the times. Um, it takes practice though. Uh, oh man. All right. Anyways, comment below. I can't wait to hear what y'all have to say about this, good or bad or ugly. And of course you can, uh, you know, click that old thumb up button. Give me the good old thumb of encouragement as I do love to be encouraged. And remember that we... We'll get through this. We will get through this together. And we like to say that together. It's a little mantra. It's for those that like this and it makes their days brighter. I love to make it happen for you. So let's say it. We will get through this. We will get through this together. Whew, I'm getting warm. I got so excited. Uh, you can check out my music if you would, anywhere you listen to music. Try a song or two. See what you think. It might not be for you, but you might be surprised. Look up Eric Butts and then get excited for more. Because I got some new stuff I hope to have out by the end of the year. I'm going to really, really work my butt off to get there. And, of course, you can go to ericbutts.com for all that other funky butts fun you're looking for. And then there's more with the links in the description below. Just click that See More button to see more butts. And uh, come on back for some more butts puns while I go watch everything I can. And I'll, sure, all that works. And I'll see you all later. <laughs>